standing treetops. Treetops standing where you can see the treetops that are sticking out of the water. 10, 15, 20, 30 foot, 40 foot deep. Are they good for anything this time of the year? Wow! That's a beauty. Good morning, guys and girls. Good morning. January 8th. January 8th. We've already had a snowstorm in Oklahoma, but it is pretty doggone nice right now. Look at it. Psalms 86.5. Psalms 86, 5. I love this one. I love this one. Lord, you are kind and forgiving and have great love for those who call upon you. So God's a kind God. He's a forgiving God. And he loves us if we call upon him. Isn't that something? All of us like to be loved. All of us love to be loved. When your husband or wife or anybody says, I love you, it just means a lot. Like is a nice word. You know, and, and we have like that we hit on social media a lot. I like that. I like that. I like that. But then we also got that little heart. That means I love that. That is so much better. God loves those who call on him. So when we say, dear Heavenly Father, he showers his love down upon us. When we call upon God, he loves us. He's kind, he's forgiving, and he has great love for those who calls on him. My goodness, I love that. Here's what I wrote about that. Fishermen, since the beginning of time, have been asking for help and advice on how to catch more fish. <coughs> I, continually, I continually do that. Jesus told Peter where to cast his net. Some of us today make our living telling others how to become better fishermen. I know people who have driven hundreds of miles to listen to a top tournament pro give a seminar. I've had so many folks drive two, three, four, five hundred miles to listen to a seminar one evening just to try to become a better fisherman. They do all of this just to become more successful when they're out on the water. God is the ultimate expert and he's ready and he's willing to answer our questions and to come to our aid. God is willing to answer our questions and he's willing to help us. All we need to do is ask. But Somehow, <laughs> particularly us guys, out of macho-ness, out of lack of faith or whatever, will not come to God and ask until it's the last resort. Have you been there? Have you done that? Have you got into a situation and just worked on it and worked on it and worked on it? And when everything seems like it's failed, when everything seems impossible, you get on your knees and you look up to God and say, God, I need help. We don't ask until it's the last resort. But, and here's the tree, key to this, here's something that you gotta take to the bank on today's devotional. But if we'll get God involved in today's problems and concerns right now, we'll likely not need to use God as the last resort tomorrow. That's right. We get God involved in our problems right now right now. We have a problem. First thing we ought to do, dear Heavenly Father. First thing we do, we have a problem. Dear Heavenly Father, guess what? I got a problem. Here it is. Here it is. Let me talk to you about it. A lot of times while we're praying, God will give us an answer. I've had that happen. You've had that happen too, I bet. While you're praying, all of a sudden, God just gives you the answer. And you go, whoa, where'd that come from? Oh, I know where it came from. It came from His Spirit that lives inside of me. Lord, you're kind and forgiving, and you have great love for those who call on you. Here's our tip for today, January 8th. This is a good one because this is where we've really been locking down a bunch of these really, really big, big fish that we've been catching. Standing treetops often hold bass in Clearwater Lakes throughout the winter months. Standing treetops, that's right. Earlier in the year, some of these trees were catching these fish in 20, 30, 40 foot of water. Now we are finding them. We're looking at them on a Garmin live scope. We're targeting individual fish. Those fish have been in those treetops like that ever since I was a little boy. We just didn't really know how to catch them or we didn't know they were there for the most part. As we get on into March, we'll be fishing treetops that are in seven or eight foot of water. And, 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 and these fish might be two or three or four feet from the surface, two or three or four feet from the bottom. But a lot of times they're about halfway. If you're in 10 foot of water, they're about five feet. 
and uh, we, we scan with that live scope, we see those fish, and then we try to bring a bait over the top of them. We bring a bait under them, they don't hardly ever bite it. We bring the bait over the top of them. Mostly we are using an Alabama rig, Shane's umbrella rig, and uh, with uh, with Lucky Strike swim baits on it. And, uh, and we're bringing those over the top of it and we're catching some of those really, really giant fish. Being able to see them is a key, but if you just take a lake, it's got a lot of treetops like we have right here behind us. If you take a lake, it's got a lot of treetops and you go out there and if you can figure out what depth they are, if you think, well, they're about 14 feet, I'll just run that bait about 12 feet through every treetop, you're gonna catch some big fish. Uh, in fact, we scare a lot of the fish before we have a chance to throw at them, to be honest with you when we're, we're running that live scope. But standing timber in the wintertime holds some of the biggest fish, if not the biggest fish in the entire lake. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. Remember, I love you.